welcome! We're the Nearly Dead Duo, and to continue Spooktober, we're playing... Cooking Companions! <laughs> <laughs> it's exactly what you think it is! With your host, Martha Stewart! <laughs> <laughs> and Shia LaBeouf! <laughs> Um, so this game's not suitable for children. Or, or those... those who are easily disturbed. So we're going to continue, because we're neither. Listen, viewers, that warning's for you. If you don't fit that criteria, shame on you. But do please watch. <laughs> that walk was brutal. This cabin is amazing. Uh... Full kitchen, running water. It really has everything. Finally. A place I can read a good book in peace. I can't wait to... to ah! Achoo! I'm sorry, everyone. It must be the dust. Get those allergies under control, Mariah. Be or you'll get a slap! Yeah. Don't worry, guys. I know how to fix this. I'm sure with a little elbow grease, I can smack her upside the head, and then we can make this cabin shine! So are you volunteering to clean, Gregor? Well, first, uh, no. No, no. Smack it upside the head, yes! Not many supplies here. I guess I'll, we'll have to go out and get what we need. Jesus. Squirrel power, go! <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what that looks like. There's a fireplace for making stew, so let's gather up some firewood. Okay? Uh... Know what this reminds me of? Hmm. Saturday morning cartoons. Hmm, yeah. That's Leave that to me, little guy. Um, the tick, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tidy up around the cabin. Need to save Mariah from dying due to the dust. <laughs> or we could just let the bitch die. <laughs> hey! Allergies are nothing to joke about, Karen. Karen! Karen! <laughs> She's not dead yet, Pipsqueak. Calm down. Thanks, Anatoly. You're welcome. Worst name ever, but you're welcome! <laughs> I think I'll go foraging outside. But, you know, I've never been in the woods before, so I don't know what I'm looking for. With over 450 mosses, 900 fungi, and 70 slime mold... Fuck if I know what I'm looking for. <laughs> Roughing it is fun. Anatoly knows so much about edible foods. <laughs> we're in good hands and we're probably going to die of poison because of all the mushrooms. All my edible foods come from the farmer's market and Whole Foods. <laughs> <laughs> I think the slime molds will be delicious. Ew. Slime yeah, delicious, says Karen. Most certainly not. That's for medicine. What about the fungi? Do you even know which ones are poisonous, Anatoly? You little bastard, you're trying to kill us? Um, I think if I find a shiitake mushroom, I'll know what it is. But other than that, I'm guessing, so... Woohoo! You could be the canary in the ki coal mines, Anatoly. Be good if I could read. <laughs> oh, I would think this uh, bigger guy is more suited for you know foraging. You gotta go chop wood. Keep both eyes open, little guy. Plenty of wolves and brown bears around. They'll eat your head like it's a freaking grape. They won't be a problem. I read up on 10 different techniques to incapacitate them. I don't know how to do them, but I read about them. <laughs> Number one is... Anatoly! Shit! Oh, I mean, um... Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Mariah. I get a little heated sometimes. And I got carried away again. <laughs> I don't know what just happened. I don't know what happened. <laughs> I'll have Anatoly look for food. I'm definitely better at warding off wild animals. Yeah, because this dude befriended one, which I totally am... They want. 
the squirrel friend. Well, you can't have him. He's mine. So, mm -hmm. suck it. <laughs> if we come up empty-handed, we can always eat some of the food we've brought. So why the f*** are we doing this? I mean, Karen looks like a dirty hippie, so... Yeah, you mean the emergency rations? Bad idea, chump. Who you calling chump, bitch? Hey, Anatoly and Mariah are getting the food. Gregor is gathering the firewood. That means I can sit on my ass and do nothing. Oh, and I guess I'm the designated chef. Oh. Everyone's looking at you expectantly. You nod. Wait, we're a fifth person? We're a fifth person! Oh. Very excited to try cooking. All right, everyone. Let's get to work while there's still sunlight. Okay? The tick! Away! Mariah. Anatoly. Gregor. The three eggs at the cabin, leaving you and Karen alone. I think Anatoly put the supplies in the kitchen. Thanks for helping out with the cooking. Whoops, I hit the wrong button. Tutorial! That's fine. <clears throat> Do you have any experience making meals? Do we? Um, I mean, personally, it would be the middle one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say, of course. <laughs> Is that so? Hmm. Looking at you, I'd... S <laughs> I think you'd be good at serving up food poisoning. <gasps> you dirty bitch! Right? <laughs> Looks like Karen will remember that. Remember what? That she just insulted me? Right. Anyways. Going to check on the living room. Let's talk later. As long as it's topless. Karen heads to the living room and starts dusting a little bit. Only a little bit. Yeah. You decide to look around the kitchen to find the ingredients for the meal tonight. You'll never know what you find around the cabin. Clues and secrets may be revealed by searching an area more than once. Why not give it a try? What area do you want to search first? The cupboards. First few cupboards are empty. Good choice, Tammy. Thank Jeez. you. Jeez. Anatoly must have put the supplies somewhere else. The drawers? You check the drawers on the left. But not the right, just the left. Find some dirty knives, but mm. you know, it's just the left drawers. You're not going to bother with oh, the right. Oh yeah, no, I guess behind the wood pile. There's nothing but cobwebs back here. They just say search areas multiple times. Oh, thankfully no spiders. Slides, you just don't see them. You check the drawer above, above the mouse hole. What? Mouse hole? Some kind of mold is growing in this one. Maybe Karen will find it appetizing? It's mold! <laughs> you check the cupboards again. Oh. Just some mouse turds and cobwebs. <laughs> <laughs> you check the drawer above the woodpile. Something is making it difficult to open. You pull it open with all your might, which is very little. Yeah. And? Wee! Wee! <laughs> it's time! <laughs> Chop it! Sound <laughs> off! <laughs> Fear, Onion is here! <laughs> like my cousin Cornbread says, I'll rise to the occasion! Raspberry! Oh, it's Mary! Raspberry! Oh, Potato! Cabbage stuffed me into this drawer. I'm pretty sure this counts as kidnapping! <laughs> Where are the chuppets? Why talk with those boring humans? All they have to give you is drama! Come chat with us instead! We'll share valuable recipes you can cook! We'll share with you our secret chomper recipes! Collect them all! And become a five star! Potato guy! 
can find unlock recipes in the main menu under the extra blah 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 blah, blah. cool to celebrate here's your first recipe card roasted eggplant with sesame and pomegranate meat free Yay, we unlocked our first recipes. These guys are adorable, Tammy. I know! <laughs> if you ever want to talk, just come to the drawer! I think we're going crazy, though. Chumpets! Let's move out! Alright. Cabbage rudely slams the drawer closed. You wonder if what you just saw was real. It's probably not. You're slightly worried about what this means for your mental state. But only slightly. Karen's back. Hey. Did you find the supplies? You shake your head. Anatoly lied. He actually put them in the bedroom. Then why did you ask us if we found them? Idiot. Here you go. Emergency supplies. Karen leaves you alone. You start a fire with some of the wood and get to work on cooking dinner. Hours pass. We're back! More firewood than you'll ever need! We found some wild sorrel! Maybe tomorrow we'll have a bigger bounty! And <laughs> the is bearing the lead! We saw a red deer! M M M Mariah spotted it! they killed it or anything yeah that's great anyways killed 17 spiders today while you were out looking at a deer ah! <laughs> that should come as no surprise there's over 160 species of spiders here oh. and I'm a huge nerd and know that 160 don't worry Mariah I'm sure they were all in the bathroom or something <laughs> no almost all of them were near the couch ah! I'm <laughs> I was going to sleep on the couch why <laughs> uh, that's where 16 of them were I'm not sleeping on the couch then too bad <laughs> right <laughs> mm. and there's only two beds in the bedroom don't sweat it, Mariah. I can sleep anywhere. So I'll sleep in the rocking chair. I'll sleep with one eye open. Just in case any of them swarm the couch. Thanks, Gregor. Do we even know these? Like, are they family? I have no idea. Thanks, Gregor. Karen and Antoli. You two take the bedroom. Th 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 thanks, big guy. Jokes on Gregor. I always plan on taking one of the beds. Hey, Anatoly, I snore l louder than a slum lumber yard. Ick. Sweet dreams, chump. What a bitch. You turn back to your bubbling vegetable stew and try a bite. Without regards to where we sleep. Yeah, where are we <laughs> sleeping? This tastes pretty good. Yay! You we did vegetable it! Stew! <laughs> You set the table and ask everyone to dig in. Well. Yay, scene change. Right? Oh, wow. Smells delicious. Thank you. you smells like... a world-class show. Smells like justice and other heroic things. <laughs> Karen takes a bite. Oh, no. It's bland as hell. You bitch. Karen! <laughs> Tastes like every other vegetable stew I've ever had. So generic. Why is she winking? Could probably use some meat next time. Some justice meat. Gross! For a side dish, we could bake some bread and utilize the Frigaria Vesca. Also known as strawberries for some jam. Then why didn't you just say strawberries, you little shit? 
I gotta be smarter than everyone else. <laughs> I've got no care inside <laughs> on this. Nobody cares, Pipsqueak. Everyone laughs at Karen's polite ribbing. <laughs> that was polite? Apparently. <laughs> Nothing makes you happier than cooking a great meal for friends. This could very well be the best day you've ever had. You go to bed stuffed. Where do we sleep? Day zero. One. Day, day one, one, I mean. <laughs> I mean day one. <laughs> oh, oh, we're in the living room now. Hey, you up? No. Naturally. Hey. Hey. How'd you sleep? Hey. I was so warm last night. I didn't even need a blanket. I just let my balls hang out. <laughs> Is it? About one hour until dawn. I gotta go get some clothes on. Will you two pipe down trying to sleep over here? Sorry. Squirrel power! <laughs> Gregor, the birds outside aren't making much noise yet. We didn't bring many supplies, remember? Better to get a head start on gathering justice food. I honestly can't see the trees outside right now. Gregor? Did you see any spiders last night? There was a small one in the bed or in the bathroom. Uh, Anatolia, I'm pretty sure I asked Gregor, you asshole. Squirrel power. <laughs> Actually, I did see a centipede by the sink. Mariah turns a little pale. Karen's messing with you, Mariah. Let's find more than wild sorrel today. Yeah! If you're lucky, little guy, maybe I'll teach you how to catch some wild brown trout in a hero manner. What's with you and me, big guy? Anatoly's herbalism. Okay, that's exactly. Hold on. <laughs> Anatoly's herbalism book stated that there's many more species of plants to eat out here. Let's leave the fish alone. Oh, shut up, you vegetarians. You know, I'm not, uh, into meat. Too bad. That's a shame. I'd wake up early to go fishing. Cheer up, Karen. We'll get to observe the trout at the very least. Maybe we'll see more red deer today. That sounds like a waste of time, Gregor. Well, you're a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll find some blackthorn berries. I love blackthorn berries. Of course you do. Hmm. Uh -huh. uh. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back later. Can you watch our stuff today? Ah. Uh -huh. You nod. Th thank you. Do we have a name or anything? We don't. We're just like a faceless, nameless... Person. Speechless person who that just, cooks for them? Yeah, who just like hangs out and listens to their conversation. Thanks! Hmm. Don't steal anything, okay? You nod. Friends like He's Mariah, right. Anatoly, Gregor, and Karen leave the cabin with a hop it to their step. Leaving me all by myself. And now it's time for a jerk-off party. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're alone. There's a lot of books here. You're alone. But thankfully, you have a drawer of chompettes to keep you That's company. Right. <laughs> Each day, you'll be asked to explore a different part of the cabin. You'll only get one choice. Then the day will end. Choose wisely. What do you want to check out today? Oh. Oh, well... Um, let's check out the bedroom. Sure. That's interesting. Karen and Anatoly kept the room pretty clean. Um, really? Only one of them made their bed. What's this? Spilt something. Who still makes their bed? Anatoly does, you know it. Yep. Yeah. You look underneath one of them. 
Found some extra emergency supplies. Hell yeah! That son of a bitch! He was hoarding! You decide to look through them and start planning your next meal. We're back. <laughs> Knock it off, Mariah! <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty rare to be scared of one. It's not! <laughs> Who knew the big guy would be so scared of? S S Shut up! You, you don't understand. I'm the tech. I'm not scared of nothing. I don't think anyone understands, Gregor. It was just a... Marmot? Yeah. Gregor, marmot. not a monster. What's a marmot? It's like a rodent. Oh. Mariah laughs so hard that your ears ring. I'm not gonna. Do it, Tammy! <laughs> Tears are rolling down Mariah's cheeks. Tammy's laughing got the dog barking downstairs. <laughs> she's laughing so hard that she's about to hyperventilate. Stop Mariah from hyperventilating? Um. Absolutely <laughs> not. One less mouth to feed, right? Oh. You don't get it. It's pretty personal. Got one stuck in his butt. The marmot ate my baby. <laughs> <laughs> then please explain, big guy. I just did. I, uh. Gregor looks incredibly uncomfortable. <laughs> Let's leave him alone. We found some raspberries and elderberries near the cabin. Quite the selection of berries. We also found more wild sorrel. This is going to be enough for a good meal. Everyone is looking at you for an answer. You decide to do an inventory of all available ingredients. Takes you a while, but you decide on your specialty, cabbage rolls. That sounds awful. Yeah. Oh, they don't look great. No. You cooked cabbage rolls! Mariah looks optimistic. Karen looks skeptical. As usual. Anatoly looks curious. No, he does not. He looks like a cabbage <laughs> rolls. Gregor looks thrilled. You watch intently as everyone takes the first bite. And then dies, because we poisoned them all. Mealtime picture! Where everyone gives you bedroom eyes. Except yeah, they for do. Gregor. Except for Gregor. <laughs> mm, that's pretty darn good. Wow, I could eat a whole batch myself. I'm a growing boy. I think the vegetable stew tasted better, but I'm loving how tender the cabbage is. The sauce is pretty red. Did you use fresh tomatoes for it? It's a weird thing to say. It really adds to it. Spoon some of the liquid on top of it. You'll thank me later. Eh? Incredible! It's definitely growing on me! Thanks again for cooking. This really was something special. Now give me a buddy hug. <laughs> <coughs> Everyone leaves the dishes behind for you to do. Oh, thanks. I spend all day cooking for you assholes and I have to do the dishes? Yep. Some friends. Not happening. You settle in and go to bed. Everyone goes to bed full. Tomorrow will be another great day. Day one. Day one. No, it I mean, day two. We're going with day two now. It's day two. Good morning, everyone. Yeah. Again, Gregor. Can't you let us sleep in? 
Not today. We're going on patrol. All right, well, you answered my question of why. <laughs> Storm clouds are gathering outside. We need to find some food before it begins to downpour. Gregor, you're overreacting. We have enough food to last us a while. Enough food? I thought we used most of the supplies for last night's dinner. He's right. The meal you made was delicious, but used a lot of what we had. Oh, so <laughs> sorry. Gregor's also correct. Precipitation is unusually high in this area, with many areas being high risk for flooding. I just want Consult to... your local meteorologist for more information. I just want him to know <laughs> if I have to kill anyone first, it's going to be him. Right. It'd be foolish not to go out and look for food today. You really think it will flood? Thankfully, the cabin is on high ground, but that doesn't mean we're safe from floodwaters. It's always a possibility, so it can't hurt to be prepared. You're losing it, Gregor. Karen! There's nothing to worry about. I think Gregor's right, Karen. Huh? It won't hurt to prepare for the worst. Hmm. I think she's right, Karen. You're a bitch, and no one invited you anyways. <laughs> fail to prepare, prepare to fail. <laughs> I'm eating him first. Yeah, totally. Ah, oh, punch your lights out. Let's go out and prepare for the storm, or I'll punch your lights out. Because the storm's my fist. My fist of fury. Righteous fury. And all those things that come with it, like smashing and bashing. And more justice clubbing. <laughs> I love that the tick is here with us. Foraging should be a key priority today. There are plenty of edible foods, and it has better odds than trying to hunt. Give me a few minutes, and I'll plot out our route on some paper. Shut up. I mean, let me help, little guy. Maybe someday you'll make a sidekick. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Anatoly and Gregor head to the bedroom to consult the map. Wink, wink. Mariah and Karen are still hanging around. Unfortunately in life, you can't make everyone happy. When given a choice to speak to a character, choose wisely. You can only select one of them. Try to max out your bond with certain characters for unique dialogue and scenarios. Which one would you like to talk to? Um, Karen's a bitch, mm -hmm. but Mariah's a vegetarian. All right, so <laughs> let's go with Karen. All right, maybe she'll be less bitchy towards us. Maybe. Hey, this paper nail to the wall looks pretty ancient. What were the old days like? What? Um. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know what she means. Old days? No. How old am I? Never mind. You must enjoy these antiques, huh? You bore Karen with some brief yet dull descriptions of items lying around. Cool. I'll tell uh, the others later. Karen looks disturbed by your comments. You hear a loud laugh from the other room. Gregor and Anna totally come back from their meeting. Gregor is blushing slightly. <laughs> oh, yeah, is that what it is now? Blushing slightly, huh? Hey. Can you cook something while we're out? You nod. Promise not to make you do the dishes again. I can't vouch for the others. Thanks. Alright, everyone. We have our route now. It's patrol time. Let's beat those rain clouds. With righteousness. <laughs> the group leaves, determined as ever. Why am I the only one always left behind? I don't know. It's a cabin all to ourselves. Jerk off party! If I thought we were farting. <laughs> What's that noise? Sounds like it's coming from the kitchen. To the kitchen! Huh? Radio? What's going on with that radio? I don't even see you didn't radio. even notice it on the ground when you walked in. 
Did somebody leave this radio here? It looks newer than anything you've seen before. Seems to be broken. Better hold on to this. <laughs> we got a strange radio! Because that's something you do. Before you cook dinner, what should you check out? Do we want to... Um, let's um, see if there's something in the basement. Basement, all right. Oh, the basement. Your imagination runs wild staring at the basement door. Gee, I wonder. <laughs> right? You try opening and closing the deadbolt just in case. You mill around until the others return. Uh-oh. Basement was not the way to go, Adam. Mariah's back early today. <clears throat> she uh -oh. looks terrified. Hey! The others are still looking for food outside. And I totally found some more berries. But nothing that will feed all of us. Please don't tell the others. But I'm a little worried about our supplies. I crunched the numbers because I'm smart. I swear, I'm just as smart as Anatoly. <laughs> and we don't have enough food, even with rationing, to last if there's a big storm and we're stuck here. Mariah seems disappointed in your inventory management. Can you try cooking with a little less this evening? You nod. Thank you. You've done such a great job with our meals so far. That's a evil-looking smile there. Uh-huh. You're very sweet. Is Mariah blushing a little bit? Yeah. Too bad I don't... <laughs> what? Mariah will remember that. I don't know what we did. We gotta start oh. with Mariah. Hooray! Maybe you can teach me to cook something sometime. <sighs> See, I, I don't like hanging out with vegetarians... No, we not. <laughs> Looking forward to it. Do we have, like, an inventory? Hey, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> What's the uh, little menu icon? Uh, well, we can save. Cool. Oh, okay. Back to game. I guess there's none. Hey, you could hold cooking classes here someday. Why? <laughs> Rudely interrupting a tender moment, the others burst into the cabin. Oh, she's pissed. She was holding her boobs up, too. Don't be so down, everyone. We got tons of good berries. <sighs> Jam is so bland with no any sugar. Do you have any sugar? You shake your head sadly. Yikes. Turn that frown upside down, Karen. Who knows what tomorrow will bring. Maybe justice. I'm not smiling for you, Gregor. Eek! Uh, you missed out. The sunset was really, uh, tremendous on our way back. I mean, we make you stay in here and slave for us, but... What? He is of orange, red, even a little purple poking out. Let me describe it for you since you're Oh, it was great. I mean... Red sky at night, sailor's delight. Red sky in morning, sailors take warning. So we can expect a sailor's delight tomorrow? That's awesome. I always want a sailor. You're a, such an optimist, big guy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I want me a sailor, man. <laughs> Must have walked a few miles today. Gorgeous sight! You could even see snow on the tips of the mountains! Ah, that's right, we kept you here. Ha <laughs> ha! That rumble sounded like a dying calf. You look from person to person trying to determine who it was. It was definitely Mariah. Oh. Mariah, I'd recognize that sound from anywhere. Gah! Guilty. Mariah looks embarrassed, but the group laughs at her honesty. Except for you. 
You search your mind for something to say, but all you can think of is an old riddle. Oh, God. Ahem. Those who have it do not want it. Those who have it least succeed. Those who have it for too long perish. When you feed it, it gets smaller. What am I? That, Where'd this come yeah, from? Yeah, none of that. Hmm, I'm a smart guy. Dust? Try again, big guy. Everyone is pondering the answer. Mariah's face lightens up. I got it! Is it hunger? Correct! <laughs> yeah, I was going to guess that. So, uh, it's on the menu tonight, chef. Bread and jam. That actually looks pretty tasty. You cooked you raspberry cooked. jam and bread. <laughs> <laughs> the bread's a little tough. Gregor, don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Well, this homemade jam is to die for. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know why I just lost the voice altogether. Yeah, <laughs> no, you're right, Gregor. This bread stinks. Mariah! Everybody laughs. You're not sure this could be called a meal. But it got the job done. Everyone thanks you for dinner and heads off to sleep. So they spend all day dicking off in the woods. Yeah. <laughs> come back to the meal you cook and then go right to sleep. You go to bed wishing you had more. You have a strange dream. Something is riding on your back. Is it cabbage? I bet it's God, cabbage. I hope it's cabbage. And it's becoming a nuisance. You try to see it in the mirror, but you can't get a good look at it. You try almost everything, but it won't get off. The pain between your shoulder blades is getting worse by the minute. You wander away from the cabin, stumbling by a river to soak your pain in the cool water. You didn't want things to come to this, but you've exhausted all other options. You swim out to the middle. Rocks on the bottom cut your feet. You slip and fall to your knees. In the middle. Yeah, how do we swim out and... Okay. <laughs> I mean, maybe it's like a, kind of like a moat, where it's just rocks in the middle, and then it's deep all the way around it. But why would we go to the middle then? I don't know. You lean back, trying to submerge the thing underneath the waters. But it won't drown. It won't drown. It won't drown. You splash frantically, plunging your head beneath the water. The current takes you downstream. Oh, now it's a river? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> you try swimming to the shore, but it's no use. Water fills your mouth and nostrils. After a minute, you stop struggling against the current. As you gaze up at the sky, you feel it leaving your back, drifting into the sky as you sink to the bottom. As you take your last gasp, you see what was on your back staring into your eyes. But you don't even have the air in your lungs to scream. You wake in a cold sweat. Ah! <laughs> ah! Day two. We're going to day three. Ready? Here it is. Day three. What the heck was that? Fuck if I know. <laughs> um. Wake up! Sorry. You were making strange noises in your sleep. What's going on, Gregor? Did the lightning wake you up? It woke me up. I tried to fall back asleep, but it's so loud. Ugh. Well, let's just get back to sleep and talk about this in the morning. Everyone nods in agreement and gets back to bed. No one needed to get out of bed then. There, there's no reason for this conversation. Nope. Not a one. I mean, Gregor woke me up because I was having a nightmare, but... But the rest of people could just stay their asses in their bed. Dot, dot, dot. Except for you. You can't fall back asleep. You still have goosebumps from the nightmare. Dot. Karen snoring is louder than a sawmill. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, 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 dot. <laughs> you find it very loud and very distracting. Also, there's lightning. You don't sleep a wink. Everyone's now up and awake in the cabin. You hear the front door open and quickly slam shut. Anatoly sounds petrified. Uh, 
I looked out the door and we're completely surrounded by floodwaters. Looks like sailors take warning was more appropriate for today. Maybe it'll clear up tomorrow. <clears throat> dot, 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 dot. Dot, dot, exclamation, dot, 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 dot. You can't steal big guy's optimism, Karen! Why the hell not? That's all he's got going for him. Thanks. He's also good at chopping wood, though. That's because I have... Righteous muscles of justice. Also an axe. Hey, right, knock it off, you two. Mariah, do you think it'll clear up tomorrow? I give it a 27% <laughs> chance of clearing up tomorrow. Based on what? I was bored stiff, so I read a book on local precipitation levels of the last 20 years in the living room. Sounds like you're stealing Anatoly's thunder. Anatoly, you're a book nerd, right? Why didn't you read it? Ick. Couldn't make it past the cover. I don't care for meteorology. <laughs> really? Check with your local meteorologist for updates. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. The bookshelf has some great books on artisan crafting and natural sciences. Why let them sit there gathering dust? How did you arrive at a 27% chance of it clearing up tomorrow? It's easy. Oh, God. It's oh, boy. Math. Take the time of the year, multiply it by a factor of... Mariah begins to explain meteorology to you. But only to you. She isn't dumbing any of this down. It's simple to... <laughs> Go ahead, Tammy, read it. <laughs> y, uh, dash, U, box, box, X, U, box, I, Y, <laughs> where? So the first thing you need to, to understand... Minutes of explanation feel like hours. You look over at Anatoly. He's listening intently to Mariah. So intently he hasn't blinked yet. He might have had a stroke. You can see his eyes drying up. He might be dead. A tear rose down one of his cheeks. Nope, still alive. This is brutal to watch. Mariah finally wraps up her lecture. She ends with a bow. Nobody claps. Oh. Tough crowd. M Mariah, that was awe-inspiring! You lost me a few minutes in, but it's okay. I don't understand a word of it. Well, that's what you science geeks are for. Yeah. Anatoly turns to you. Anyway, there's no telling how long this will last. We can't leave the cabin until these floodwaters stop. I know our food situation is a little tight, but I know you'll make it make the right decisions. I believe in your little body. Me too. It looks like we have enough leftover berries for more bread and jam. I'll pass all the jam. Just give me more crusty bread. Why? Everyone laughs. It's not that funny. Except for you. Because you don't find it funny. With everyone stranded in the cabin, you need to keep everyone fed and happy. Oh, God. You sneak out to the kitchen while everyone's still talking. Can we talk to the cabbage? Can we eat the cabbage? I want to talk to the cabbage. You get out some crusty bread and get to work making some more jam. With the kitchen to yourself, you yes. decide to check in on the chompettes. Hey! <laughs> no, I love it so much! Cabbage is the cutest! Don't worry! As leader of the chompettes, I'll make sure none of the humans know about us! <laughs> and that big guy! Try eating me like an apple, so definitely don't tell him about us. Potato. I'm a potato. Ha <laughs> uh ha. -huh. Are your plans going awry? Ha uh ha. -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Got another cornbread classic for you. Did you hear about the bread maker's bakery burning down? No. <laughs> Her business is now 
toast. <laughs> Like a monster. I know. That one's been done to death. Do you know how raspberry milk reintroduced? You tell her no. Raspberry. Raspberry milk shake. <laughs> you let out an audible groan. <laughs> I love Brent too. He's so cute. Did Carbright teach you that one? Wasting an entire day thinking about that terrible pun. Potato. Potato. Ha ha. It was well worth the time and effort, Raspberry. Maybe you'll win an annual trumpet comedy competition this year. Raspberry. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Oh, they're Pokemon. <laughs> they are. They are. They're Pokemon. Not while I'm here. Except for Brad, who just sounds. <laughs> I won't choke on stage this year. Oh my god, he's speaking! Isn't that every year, Brad? <laughs> <laughs> we still talk about that closing line, Brad. You're gonna do great this year! Potato. <laughs> Anyways! <laughs> If you're hungry, jump and stick together through thick and thin. Rain or shine. Face our famine. Potato. 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 I swear to God, repeat <laughs> the line, or you're getting locked up again. <laughs> uh, I fight death. That's right. Chumpets! Move I love them. Chumpets somehow managed to close the drawer on themselves. You bring the crusty bread and jam into the living room. Now what? Oh, thanks, Karen. Interrupting me as I bring in the food? Took you long enough. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Karen looks at the two slices of bread left in the mason jar of raspberry jam. There's mold on these last two slices of bread. Well, dumbass there was thinking of eating mold anyways. Yeah. Karen is right. What the hell is the matter with you? You grip the knife tightly in your hand. Oh, God, take it to her throat. You think this is enough? For five of us? Oh, wait. We can't throw this bread away. That's all we have left. Gregor's right. Anatoly, will mole spores give us food poisoning? Uh, um, uh, no scientist. Even though I pretend to be. Sorry. Um, let's pick off as much mold as we can. We can't leave the... <clears throat> we can't leave with the floodwaters, so this will have to last us another day. Everyone grimly nods, ripping apart their piece like a pack of wolves. Gregor seems to unhinge his jaw and eat it in one bite. Is Gregor a snake now? He looks like a duck eating bread. Thanks again! Bread and jam isn't much of a meal, but it's more than we've had... When we left Ukraine. Plenty of rainwater outside, so at least we won't die of dehydration. But until this storm is over, nobody should leave the cabin. Should clear up if we just give it a chance. Anatoly, where are you getting that information from? Ah, uh, duh, bitch, because clouds move. <laughs> right? What are the books on the bookshelf about the climate here? You're illiterate, so that definitely is a lie. Wasn't he saying earlier he reads lots of books? Yeah. I've seen him reading. Little guy's been studying. I'm serious. He pretends to read those books because he wants us to think that he's smart. But I can tell he's just staring at the pages, faking it. 
What do you think, little body? Um, I'd like to think that he can read. I would imagine he can read. You, you must, must be, be going <laughs> blind then. That was you. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Th thanks. I don't know why Karen would make something up like that about me. You aren't fooling anyone, Anatoly. Karen has stormed off. She still continues to be a bitch. Thanks for backing me up. Oh, we got a heart with Gregor now. Look at the 8-bit giant hearts. I love them. <laughs> Good to have someone so positive around. Anatoly looks relieved. I think he'll remember that. I guess let's call it a day. Yeah. Sure. Everyone shuffles off to their sleeping areas. Because they've only eaten once every day for the last three days. <laughs> right? Ten minutes later, though. Hey. Karen likes to find somebody's weakness and use it against them when she's frustrated. Just wanted to thank you for backing me up earlier. You are very sweet to do that. Anatoly looks at you with a look of admiration. And the squirrels jump in for joy. Heh. See you tomorrow. Uh-oh. Anatoly looks like he's blushing as he walks away. You're definitely sure Anatoly will remember that. Oh, no! <laughs> Not what we want! <laughs> we wanted to kill him first. You get ready for bed, put a blanket on. You go to bed very hungry. We don't know where we're sleeping. Day three, two, three, four. Day four. You don't dream the entire night, but you sleep through everyone waking up. Okay. Alright, I think we're gonna... Save it, and next time. Save. Yeah, that's... <laughs> this game's a little odd, not gonna lie. Yeah, it's super odd. Thank you guys all for watching. We will see you in the next video. We love you all. Bye! Bye.